why you've been a dream maker and breaker in the last couple of days. Uh, run us through the side that you've picked. Okay, so uh, defensively we've got three uh, very experienced defenders, Liana, Casey and Katrina, one of whom is coming back from injury. Um, and then Phoenix was the best of a group of young defenders that I was actually pretty impressed with over the trial period. So the remainder of those young defenders are in uh, New Zealand A. And you'd have to say um, I feel great sympathy for Tim Alissi, but unfortunately her inability to play trials meant that she was waiting for people not to perform and that was not the case. So the young defenders stood up. Phoenix was the one who stood up the most and that's that's how we've come to those four. In the midcourt, um, Kayla's ability to go across to the defensive circle and back up where we know we have an injury and Casey's still coming back was an asset. Um, she played both goal defence, wing defence and centre and acquitted herself well in all, but it was the versatility I think that um, stood up for her. Um, Laura was great, played centre and wing defence um, and Grace played beautifully at wing attack. So after that, we're really looking at someone with some versatility. That was a very tough call, and that came down to Shannon in the end. But there were a number of people on the court who showed very good form and could have been picked, and they are in New Zealand A. Eh? And if we have an injury, they'll be the people that we call on. In the shooting end, um, we've got two experienced players in there, in um, Maria and Jody. And I was really clear that we were looking for those shooters who will create the most shooting opportunities. We have to create shooting opportunities to win games. And if we're going to win games, we have to have lots of them. So we're looking for creating opportunities and accuracy and offensive rebounding and a low error rate. Those are the four things that dictate whether or not a ball going into the circle is going to score a goal. On that basis, and particularly given a really tough outing yesterday afternoon for all three, Bailey, Malia and Catherine, we were only looking for two of those three. Bailey and Malia came through. Hardest decision uh, out of all of those people that you've mentioned, uh, the toughest area to make your decisions? No, I don't know. Um, they were all difficult, all backed up by evidence and all backed up by some selectors whom I value highly and, and their observations concurred um, with the data that we collected. Having said that, it wasn't easy telling Jolene or Liana. I know the sacrifices they've made um, to play. Um, and similarly, Catherine, that was a big call and not one that I was expecting to make, actually.